Indian state of Orissa, on the edges of the Bitarkanika National Park. Here, a giant sand dune separates the village of Sattabaya from the Indian Ocean. The dune is the source of regular sandstorms that force people to stay indoors for hours. Each storm can cover their houses with several inches of sand. Yet, they are not complaining. They remember the momentous events of October 1999, when Arissa was hit by a super cyclone. Cyclone, Kali radio to Tara, was Pilamane, Amaro, Asa Borsa, so put it, Katol Konhova, Jivan Koti Borsanote. Tamo Kongo, Viti, Kali, Jo Balikudo, Taripakarje Roybe, Tango de Subida, Taprasijo Agonada, Balikudanai, Kali Bata Cover from Lavan, she said, Page Vegan. It was this natural sand dune that reduced the impact of that super cyclone. People here know that it's their only protection. The people of Sattabaya have also devised traditional methods to trap the sand and create dunes to protect their village. A thousand kilometers southwards, people in Madhava Medum in the Tamil Nadu state are also busy building their own defense against the sea. And the tsunami over Pagodili Mino Samurai is a Bangarama Sea region. And the sea region is the Madhava Medum and the Waraluk, Ella Ura Vida, Madhava Medum and the Waraluk, Kamiana Badi Pair Portis. And the Epri Kamiana Badi Pair Portis. These experiences confirm what the MS Swaminathan Research Foundation has been saying for years. Coastal tree cover, coral reefs and sand dunes can act as natural barriers against ravages of the sea. This is the basis for their highly successful program of bioshield protection along the Indian coast. Our bioshield program has two components. One is the mangrove bioshield, the other one is non-mangrove bioshield. Non-mangrove bioshield means it includes sand dunes as well as the associated vegetations. That is, in we are developing a model, a model on how the sand dunes as well as the multi-species bioshield can act as a barrier against various natural disasters in the coastal areas. The Swaminathan Foundation has worked with the people of Madhava Medu to artificially create a sand dune between the sea and their village. To stabilize the dune, they grow spinifex trees whose roots bind the sand. On the village side of the dune, various trees are grown, coconut among them. The idea is to mix economically useful trees with ecologically important ones so that people earn an income with which they maintain the sand dunes and the bio-shield. In the entire uh, program of uh, uh, disaster uh, mitigation or disaster preparedness, uh, this bio-shield is only a, only a component. The bio-shield alone cannot save people and their property. Uh, the, the other things are uh, the location of the villages, uh, the distance from the sea, as well as the elevation uh, at which it is located. Uh, the foundation believes in giving coastal communities knowledge and skills to build their own bio-shields. If you give empowerment, empowerment in the sense then, uh, provide the land, the ownership of the lands to the community. And then uh, provide technical support to the community to raise the bio-shield. And in that way, if you do, you can have this bio-shield all along the entire uh, Indian coast. Considering the protection sand dunes offer, an occasional sandstorm is a tolerable nuisance. बाली बहुत अधिक है हेले हम उपाय नहीं रह पाते कहीं ना जब भी साइकिलों हुए बाली क्या हेले भी हमें तापाय उपकार किसी पाओ 